All right, looking cute, and he has some in your Walmart outfit. Can I just flip over? You can't flip over. Yeah. Where? I ain't seen it. Right after the steps, I just took my shoes. Oh, okay. We'll have to show us when we come back. Welcome to see what we're gonna park at. Right there. Right over there. Well, I could park up. Um, we are at Savers, the thrift store, because we're not buying nothing. We're not buying nothing. We're just looking because we're waiting for our order of pizza to be done, and it's in the same parking lot. We are we ordered from Brothers Pizza. Brothers Pizza is the bomb. Okay, it is the bomb, yo. We eat this pizza all the time. What? Brother's Pizza is the bomb. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. You don't even know what that word slang means, so you should just be quiet. No, you don't. So if you did, you wouldn't be saying that it's it's that word is weird. You wouldn't say that. Okay. You you're the crazy one. Yeah. No, I think it's you. You know what? Why am I even having a conversation with you? You you're not even on camera. I don't, I don't see your little ugly face. Are you doing right here? I'm just trying to park in my spot. He is. Okay, I'm on camera now. See? Oh, great. Mm. It's really good. And it is. They're from New York, okay? So you know what I'm talking about when I say it's really good, okay? That's New York pizza. So Tinky walked out with a, a radio flyer. Wait, don't go too fast. Come back here. A radio flyer scooter for $7. Come on. And it's nice too. We're just gonna take it home and clean it up. And it's wood. That part is wood. Come on. Let's go this way. That's where the car's over here. Come on. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap. No. If I wouldn't select, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. What? MP in the cut, what? yeah, we get it live. Hey. Moses can't go to any hub and connect Shump could, baby Shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab MPY used to be uh -huh. Page Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, talk couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain, bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to a hundred. Got grandson number three right here. Yeah, say hi. Say hi, take this out. Say hi, give him the monkey. No? Wow. You wanna? Say hi. Anybody? Grandma, you want to hold him? Two grand, two grand. I'll take him. How much you pay, man? How much you offer? He's priceless. All right, you got you it. You better bring me the baby before I kill him. Yes. Yes. Don't say nothing. You're just going to just, just lay there with the blankie and not say nothing. Say hi, everybody. Say it. Say hey, y'all. Say hey. Yeah, think about it. You and Pancake are matching. Come on, Panny, let's go. Where's my um where's her seat thing at? Oh, it's in the trunk. Alright, just get in. See you. Yeah. We're gonna put you in the trunk. No, we gotta get your little bed. You wanna get in the trunk? Come on. Hey, get up there, get up there. Get up there. What? Get up there. Come on, go. Get on your side. Get it. 
Hey, you guys. Guess who I got in the car with me? This young lady. Don't be acting all shy now. What's up, you guys? So it's early. It's well, it ain't that early. It's 10:24 in the morning on Tuesday, and I didn't want this hunt. Okay, like I am going to the second Walmart because I dropped Tinky off to school and um, to preschool, whatever you want to call it. And um, there's a Walmart down the street, and there's another Walmart that's a little bit further which is not kind of going in a direction back to my house. Different type of environment, a different type of crowd. Walmart workers, Walmart customers, it's just a different type of crowd. I was on a hunt for a t-shirt, you guys. Like, you know, I love me some graphic tees. And Walmart's be coming up with the newest, newest ones. Girl, they had some really nice t-shirts. I only buy t-shirts in the men's section because the t-shirts for the women at Walmart suck. Like, like we can't have really cool graphic tees. But anyway, so they had some really nice ones. The one that I wanted, they had a small. So now I'm going to hunt to this other Walmart. This Walmart is by my house too. And it's next to the Dollar Tree that I always go to. However, I don't need to be in the Dollar Tree because I was there yesterday. Yesterday when I went there, oh my God, you guys, this is so crazy. So listen, I'm in the floral section. And there's this little old lady, right? And I can hear her. I'm in the back of the store. And the store is pretty big. There was this little old lady in there. She was like going off about the DVDs. Oh my gosh. For like 15 minutes, no lie. I had got what I needed. Went around the store. And she still was up front at the cashier. Like going off. Like really loud and obnoxious. Like complaining about the DVDs. You know, she was like, oh, I paid a dollar for this. And I like, yeah, this is a dollar tree. Everything is a dollar. So, by the time I got up there to pay for my stuff, she was still there. But she wasn't, like, even holding a line up. She was at the end of the register just talking to the tech cashier, like, complaining while other people pay for their stuff. So, you know, I always go in there, and they know me. So, when it's my turn to get up to the register, you know what I'm saying? The girl, the worker, was, she was like, she always comes in here and does this. That's why we can't we can't give her her money back no more. Because she does this every week, a couple of times out of the week. And I'm like, are you serious? So then the little old lady is like, um, can I use your phone? I need to call my share a ride. I left my phone at home and I need to use your phone. So she asking the Dollar Tree people this. So the girl was like, yeah, I'll get the phone for you. And she came back without the phone. Only because she said to the old lady, you know, I can't, we can't, I can't let you use the phone now because they're on a conference call. Dollar Tree is on a conference call. So I asked the old lady, you know, do, do you want to, would you like to use my phone to get your share ride? So um, basically share ride for her is, you know, they'll drop her off and pick her up back to her designated area. And um, I don't believe she gets charged for it because she's a senior and she wears one of those lifeline things around her neck. So anyway, she says yes. 
oh my gosh, she had my phone for like 10, like about five minutes and wasn't even making a call. She, um, she was like, why is this not working? Like maybe she got one of those flip phones. I don't know. Cause she forgot it. She left it at home. So I said, well, ma'am, I have to leave. I have to go. You know, I have my dog in my arm and I have my bag. So when she gave me my phone back, she still had yet to make the call. When she gave me the phone back, I swear to you guys, it looked like she was trying to call freaking the United Kingdom, Japan, wherever she was trying to call. It was like about 20 numbers on my screen. Like, I'm like, would you like for me to call for you? So I dialed a number and the dispatcher, he gets on the phone. She starts going off on him. She's like, you put me on hold and I didn't like this. I'm complaining about you. I am going to report you. She was just going on with the guy. And like, I'm like tapping her. I'm like, sweetheart, honey, you might want to be nice to him because he's got to dispatch your ride. You, you know how you could just tell somebody black. If you black, you can always tell somebody black on the other line. And I could tell he sound like the guy from South Park. I'm like telling her, maybe you want to be nice to him because you want to ride. She was like, no, no, you don't know him. He is a son of a bitch. I was like, and me and the cashier and God, she was looking at each other like, she ain't never going to get a ride. So then he was like, I'm going to put you on hold again just a second. And he was like, listen, Arlene, you, I'm putting you on hold. I know that you're doing that, obviously. I was like, damn. So now, mind you, it was 1040. No, it was 11 o'clock. It just turned 11. He told her he got back on the line, right? He was like, I'm sorry. Well, he didn't even say I'm sorry because he probably wasn't. He told her that her share of ride would not be able to pick her up. He didn't even say would not be. I'm saying would not be. Your share of ride. That's how he said it. Your share of ride will be there at 1230 at the Dollar Tree to pick you up. She was like, well, what time is it now? Y'all, I was like, um, it's 11 o'clock. And she was like, what? And I asked her, I said, where do you live at? And she told me where she lived, which was actually two miles from the Dollar Tree. She lived by, um, you know, the stadium, the football stadium over here, which is two miles, which is around the corner. So she, and, and I knew exactly where she lived at. She lived by Westgate's Plaza, the shopping mall, two miles from here. I said, listen, I'll be more than happy to take you home. I don't mind. Because, I, you know, it was 11 o'clock, 12.30. She's going to be bugging the people at the Dollar Tree. And then she older, like, I don't want her to be standing out here. Like, mind you, I don't know her, but she so she was like, well, I'll give you this dollar for taking me home. I was like, honey, you don't have to give me any money for taking you home. You know, I'm going to just take you home. I'm like, I'm going to pull. And the girl at the Dollar Tree, she was like, oh, thank you. So I was like, there's no problem. So I, I was like, I'm going to go get my car. I'm going to pull up. She like screaming, what color is your car? I'm like, it's black. So she get in, I pull up, she get in, you know, I put her in the back seat. I, I get out and I open the door for her and I let her sit in the back seat because Pancake gets um shotgun. She fr and plus, like, you know, it's COVID. You sit in the back, I'll sit here. I don't really know you. I don't know what you liable to do to me. Um, I, even though you oh, I don't know, because lady, I will have to yoke your old ass up. But anyway, so right, she get in the car, we talking, we having a good old conversation. She tell me about this. She live in a senior citizens assisted living apartment building, right? It's nice. She tell me about this old guy that lived there, how she like him, he nice looking, how um they had uh coffee together and watched a movie. And she was like, and after that, he act like he didn't know me no more. I seen him the next day in the lobby. He want to act like he don't know me. I, I ain't chasing after no man. And I had to sit there. I mean, you know, this is the older lady telling me that she had to be like 70. Or, or maybe like my mom's age. She probably was like my mom's age, like 65. So, 66. So, I'm um, telling her like, yeah, I wouldn't chase after no man neither. Sure. She's like, well, I thought he was nice looking. And then there's this other lady in the lobby. She like him. She's talking about how he a nice man and all of this. But she always talking mess about somebody talking about people got a dirty neck. Could you imagine someone telling you you got a dirty neck? I was like, no. So she goes on and on. We talking. And by this time, I'm outside the car. I'm standing outside the car. And she's still sitting in the back with the door open. But we stand there talking, right? So here come one of the residents. 
a res one of the residents in there. She's um this, this older woman, this older black woman. She's on a scooter. She rides outside, and you know my car is parked right in front. It looked like you know what it remind me of the way I pulled up. You know how like a hotel be like it has that little curved part that like shelter and you can't park there but you can just load off and keep going well that's where it was like where i parked so here come the older lady out the building and she got her scooter right she was like oh arlene this is a nice ass uber you got you an uber today that's a nice uber she's like oh no that's the dollar tree girl i'm like I'm a Dollar Tree girl, though. Ali was so sweet. We exchanged numbers because she asked me because she had my number. She said she's going to keep in touch with me. And about five minutes later, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way back home. She calls me. And she's like, April, is this you? And I'm like, yes, Arlene, it's me. And she was like, oh, I just want to tell you thank you. And I'm going to keep your number because I would love to have lunch with you and, you know, invite you over. And I said, you know what? You, you keep my number. And if you need anything, you call me. If you need a ride somewhere, let me know. You know what I'm saying? So she was, you know, she was obnoxious in the beginning, but she actually was really a sweet older woman. And sometimes they just be needing help. Um, I wasn't scared that she was going to do anything to me because she older, like pancake with a bitter for sure. And then I would just look, I would have hit the brakes so damn fast. Your old ass would have went flying through the window for real. But good thing I didn't have to do that. Girl, I'm about to go in here. They better have a nice t shirt. Let's go. Today. I had to take my jacket off. I got on my Britney Spears t shirt. Y'all know I love me a good t shirt. So let's just check this one. Oh my God, you say good morning to them and they act like they don't know how to say good morning. Like, seriously? If I say good morning to you when I come in the store, say good morning back. Like, and I like coming early because ain't nobody up in here. I hate to come here when there's a whole bunch of people. I just don't like to come anywhere when there's a whole bunch of people. And I'm an early person. Like, I like to get it done early and then go home. That's just me. Get all my chores and my errands done and then take my ass home. They better have that shirt in here. I'm be pissed off. They got different ones, though. guys i have never watched this show before never like i've seen it like a couple of times maybe like a good five times but i couldn't even tell you who was who aren't these cute like i would definitely wear those not those but these ones right here walmart be coming up but i'm just trying to find oh here goes some more t-shirts please let them have that t-shirt Right, so I really didn't find any good t-shirts for myself. I did find two. I'm gonna get them. But I got this for Tinky. He's going to love this. And he loved Baby Yoda. This. More dogs, less people. Because y'all know how I feel about my dog, okay? Um, And some frocks. You know what I'm saying? Some frocks. Like, frocks. You know what frocks are? These are frocks. I call them frocks because they're fake frocks. But those are frocks. And these are Crocs. But listen, those is $10 right there. And I'm not going to spend like another $50 on a pair of Crocs. And they look the same. Look at these. If I had a granddaughter. These are so cute. White, pink, green, blue, um, tie-dye, and uh, the black ones. Okay. I did see these other ones at this other do um, Dollar Tree, at this other Walmart. Just like a pink tie-dye, but they don't have them here. Even these is cute, too. Okay, these are really cute. These are kind of cute. These are cute, especially because the material. These are really cute. Other day it's now Wednesday figured I would look again because there was something that I needed to get from Walmart but now I don't remember what it was I honestly cannot remember what it was so maybe that's a sign like I really don't need to go but I'm gonna go anyway me and my buddy right here right say hi 
I got on my TikTok sweatshirt. Yeah, Sam Kick has on a, t a TikTok hoodie. Right? I don't, I don't think she really wants anybody in her face right now. I wanted to go to Aldi's because we have an Aldi's out here now. It's kind of new. It's a few months old. I would say probably like four months. Like four months. It's been out here like four months. It's new and it's exactly across the street. Directly across the street from the Walmart. So I'm going to run in Walmart real quick with Pancake. And um, I'll probably go to Aldi's. Like, this Walmart be the nice Walmart. I did say the environment. But some of the workers here need to mind their business. And now some of the customers need to mind their business, too. What are you worried about my dog in my shopping cart for? Like, really? Go find a light. I'm talking about, oh, damn dog in the car. I had to tell this man, like, yo, chill out before she bites the shit out of you. Like, for real. I'm, like, really sick and tired of people. Like, mind your business. What you worried about my dog for? She ain't bothering you. She don't even like you. Okay? This is the second time I had to go up on somebody in this Walmart about my dog, okay? And second of all, just mind your business. Mind your business. It's not that serious, okay? Learn how to shut up. Shut the F up, okay? And mind their business. You guys, I'm in the clearance section and I'm tight because I just bought two of these for $5 each from the grocery store. Do you see the price? They're $1.50, okay? The multi-purpose... I like these because I have candles all through the house. Girl, I'm about, and they got to look at the top. I'm about to buy a whole shitload of them for $1.50. Trying to see what else they have in here. All flow seat pads. Okay, with multi-layer airflow channels. $3.75. What do I do with this? Okay, breathable fabric with 3D. I'm about to buy this for my car because I got leather seats in both of them and it's three dollars and seventy five cents. I got sleeping bags for fourteen dollars. I got a nice book bag, a bed in a bag, which is for a twin, some girly stuff, a mess load of freaking makeup. Definitely not interested. Oh lip and nail kit. Um more makeup. Okay, we're gonna go to Target to get our cup. You're right in there? Huh? Oh, Leah's one is pretty. This one is pretty. This one is cool for that movie. I like that. Dang. Then it got extra larges. Sailor Moon. Only an extra large. WrestleMania. This is cute. All right, guys. So I ended up getting just the Tom and Jerry one. I was going to get um, the Hello Kitty one, but I, I didn't really want a black shirt. I just didn't want a black T-shirt because it's hot. It just I just didn't want a black T-shirt. Then I got two of these because they were five dollars and forty nine cents. I guess that's the normal price, but it's the duo quick set. Eyelash strip, lash adhesive. This is all I use now. I've been using this for a few months and it does last longer. It's water resistant. This shit going real quick. So I got that and I'll, I didn't, you know what? You know how happy I was about all those girl t-shirts? I was like, oh, they got so many t-shirts for girls. No, 
them was not t-shirts when i went back to check again to look they were freaking crop tops like they don't come down long enough and i'm not about to be walking around pulling my t-shirt up all day long i was really good go all these now the girls went grocery shopping yesterday for me uh, you know what that's the good thing about when your kids get older and they got their own car you know what i mean they could go grocery shopping for you. You know, you just give them the money and you just tell them what you want. And then you so good, you don't have to worry. Like, yes, auntie. So where's all this? And unfortunately I had to leave Pancake in the car. I mean, I, like, I don't really know if I have to leave her in the car. I don't know if they accept dogs in here. I never brought her here before, but I really just didn't feel like bothering, like arguing with nobody or, you know, like, anybody challenging her. so I just I just left her in the car because I'm not even gonna be that long I just needed to get like a few things and that's it like 10 minutes at that at most because they done got all the food they just forgot chips for Tinky and he loved chips and it was like some stuff I wanted so so good like the prices in here are amazing like serious white cheddar popcorn Since i'm gonna be watching my grandkids all for the weekend you do have to bring your own bags or buy them so i'll just use the tote bags tinky likes these and these are a dollar 29 these are look these are good too for a dollar twenty nine, and these two, Tinky love these ones, but we got some yesterday. So, um, the chips that I'm looking for are these because he likes these, and these are one forty nine. And this one, and he loves these. Um, for right now, a box of these for ninety nine cents. This cheap wine, two dollars and ninety-five cents. What is this? Thirteen percent alcohol for two dollars. I'm gonna try this. I don't know. I mean, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is regular wine. We try to make it sober. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna try this. Look at these. Chicken fry, ooh, and these are about twenty nine. Let me get like two of these. I don't really fry no fish, but I'll try this because I like fried chicken. Campbell shrimp scampi. Just add shrimp. Oh, oh, okay. Just gotta add the shrimp. All right. And this is actually some really good detergent. 
This is some really good detergent. This reminds me of game. And I bought it three times and it works perfect. Oh, dried cranberries now. Try those. I like these in my salad. But the cherry ones are the bomb. I like these in the most. I think they got me some. Hmm. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, they got some toaster ovens, conventional, oh, this is cute. Oh, I used to have one of those. I love this thing, $20. Sample. Oh, this is cute. I could use that. Oh, no. Pillows, comforters, rugs, carbon monoxide. Oh, this is nice. You can just like. Oh, this is a blanket holder. Blanket ladder. Okay. A blanket ladder. Mm, that's what the closet is for. Pictures. Oh, these are blankets. These are nice. How many are you getting? One. This is a nice blanket. I like this color red. It's $12.99. I've been wanting this blanket too. I don't know why I want a red blanket, but I just do. But I'm not going to buy it because I don't need it. Planners. These are cute. All right. That's about it. For all these. Now let me get back to the car. Little hand sanitizer, 79 cents. That's, that's decent. All right, let's let's get um let's keep going. Okay, 79 for everything. For everything. Not not bad deal, right? So now you're gonna go home. I really wanted to go to Sam's Club to get um some Doritos for Tinky, but he got some fake Doritos for today. Um, because I don't really feel like going anywhere else. Um Yeah. So the only thing that I have to do now is get my quarter back from the shopping carts because you do have to rent the shopping carts for a quarter and that's only because people steal the carts and the carts are worth money. You can take them to like the steel mill or wherever and junkyard them and get like, you know, money for the metal. But um, I mean, if you really want to take the cart, what's a quarter? Now we're about to go home. Hey girl, I wasn't going long, right? All right, move over. We're about to go. We're going to go home now. Yep. So I hope you guys like that little shopping, little all these shopping experience. I hope the camera was not all moving all over the place. I apologize if it was, but you know, I'm a just one person, person. Me and you, yeah, me and you. So we're gonna go home now. Hot, I don't know what time my grandsons are coming, but um, yeah. We'll call my mom on the way home. First, I'm going to call my son. But, yeah. Alrighty, guys. See you later.